Hello, my little toucan army of attacking toucans, and welcome back to Let's Play Majora's Mask. Okay, I'm never gonna call you guys that again. I'm like, maybe I should think of a nickname that will stick for you guys. But no, that sounded just pure stupid, so I'm never gonna say that again. Anyways, now that we get the Romani Mask, we can now come into the milk bar during nighttime. And I like the milk bar. It has, like, a cool atmosphere to it. First, let's talk to this little blob of blobness real fast. Can I talk to him? We were scheduled to do a show, but it got cancelled. This place has a reputation for being a great live venue, so it's a shame. I'd like to do a soundtrack, though. I just want to see what it would have been like. Hey, you! Me? Good job with my performance. Actually, we can't because we can't fully do that whole thing yet because we have to have a certain mask. Hey! You! Milk? It's milk! How can you get tipsy from something like milk? <laughs> Apparently, um, milk in this game is like alcohol because I couldn't put alcohol in an E-rated game. <gasps> We've got some good milk in tonight. Would you like some reminder for your final moon viewing? Sure, I'll take some milk. Um, what will it be? Now, regular milk is the same thing we got for beating the alien shooting thing. And that just replenishes five hearts, but Chateau Romani replenishes all of your hearts and gives you infinite magic for the next three day cycle. So that's really cool. But I'm not going to take any right now because I don't have enough money and we also get some for free later in the game from the mayor's wife. And they have some like colorful milk. Is that like strawberry milk, regular and mint milk? Mint milk sounds good. D does that exist? I don't know. Yeah, I like this place though. It's like an actual coffee shop. It has like a nice atmosphere to it. It's really cool. It really has a high roof too and I like that part too. I like I would come here and hang out with my friends. Oh look at Link. He's so cute with his little cow mask on. Look at him. How adorable. Let's pinch his little cheeks. Okay, that's kind of gay for me to say. Anyways, let's leave. And next, let's go to the mountain area to get another mask. Actually, let's go to the north gate. Oh, I was mowing the other day. Okay, this is the saddest story ever. I was mowing, and my lawnmower was on the highest setting, and I ran over, like, a little bunny hole, and I found eight little baby bunnies, like, in a hole, and I was so thankful that I didn't run over any of them and kill any of them. It, w it made me so happy I didn't hit any of them. But later I was mowing, and I was mowing some other high grass. My, my, my lawnmower hit something, and I looked down, and I saw a little baby bunny, and my lawnmower had cut open its stomach, and I picked it up, and its, like, heart was hanging out, and its intestines were hanging out. And, like, blood was dripping, dripping off of its heart, and it was the saddest thing in the world. I'm looking for this guy. He should be here in a second. But, yeah, it was so sad because now that my cat's died, and now I saw Bunny die, and I felt so bad. And there he is. He appears at 12 o'clock, I guess. He dances like a little weirdo. But, yeah, that's like the... I, I hate... I'm a sucker for cute little animals. And that, now I've seen two of them dead recently, and it makes my heart shatter and break. What am I looking for? I don't know. Whenever I start telling stories, I start to like lose track of what I'm doing. So maybe I shouldn't tell stories when I let's play. Gosh! Oh. I am no longer part of the living. My sadness to the moon. I haven't left my dance to the world. I am filled with regret. Translation. I am disappointed. Oh, moon, I have died. <laughs> okay. Oh, I plan to bring the world together and stir it with a giant melting pot with my dance. If, if only I had taught my new dance to someone. The spirit dancer, Kamaro. It's been added to our notebook. Okay, so let's play the song of healing and heal his woes. Okay. Wait, that's the Impona song. Jeez. Wanna play the song of healing on Impona song? Oh my gosh, okay. There we go. Alright. It's a weird angle. There's just gross thighs up in my face. <laughs> oh. Spread my dance across the world. Train its followers. Yeah. Translation, I've taught it to you. Now make it a popular dance yeah. craze. You got Kamaro's mask. This is the creepiest looking mask in all of existence. I swear, it's just... Uh, uh, just his face in general. He's the creepiest looking man in the game, probably. He's, uh, oh. I'm counting on you. Uh. Translation, I'm counting. 
The translation's the same exact thing. I find that funny. And when he bursts into blue flames, blue flames. Apparently, that's the hottest kind of fire. Now let's look at our bomber's notebook. How much? And this is a lot, a lot more filled since the last time we've seen it. That's nice. That's nice. That's really nice. It's very, very nice. And also, when you see the little um, red present-looking things on the right-hand side of it, it means you've completely finished all the side quests with that person. So we've finished about half of the side quests we've seen for each person we've seen. Now let's jump down underneath this big rock mushroom. Let's jump down here. There's a hole we need to go inside. And there's Impona from playing Impona song. <laughs> she ran right into the mushroom. And what's down here? Oh, gigantic dodongos. Oh, I hate dodongos. Okay, so to kill these, what we have to do is hit their tails. Please stop blowing fire on me. Okay, you have to hit their tails. But first, you have to um have them distracted by trying to blow fire on you. And when they try to blow fire on you, that's what you have to go for them. And now, it's, not, it's gonna go by a lot faster since we have our upgraded sword. Thank God we have our upgraded sword or else. Oh crap, is he dead? Okay, when he dies, they explode, so make sure to watch out. They drop a purple rupee. Now, what was I saying? I said, oh yeah, it's a good thing we have our upgraded sword because that means we can take him out twice as fast. I think in my practice file, like right when I first started playing this, on my practice file, I try to beat this part when I had like three or four hearts. I can't remember exactly. I think I had three hearts, and I try to do this. And since I have my crappy sword and such a little amount of life, I die really fast, and I got a game over. So good thing that wasn't on camera. Okay, so now we can open up our treasure test. What do we got? 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 He got a piece! A piece of heart. Jeez. The order matters. Okay, now that we have that, let's go out of the exit slash entrance. It's the both. Okay, if it's called an entrance, like, it's kind of weird that it can be an entrance and an exit at the same time. Like, how can it be? Has, I think it should be one or the other. I mean, okay, wait, I forgot about this. Wait, that was a random little rant. Anyways, um, right here. Oh, crap. It's a bad angle. You can actually play the song on this wall to get rupees, and uh, I cannot get in a good angle at all. Crap. Okay, I'm just gonna try to do this from memory. I couldn't get a good angle on here to see it. But I got it, and then he drops rupees. Now, I'm pretty sure, well, I'm not pretty sure, I'm positive, that, um, occasionally, that on the wall, there'll be songs from Ocarina of Time, like the Prelude of Light, or, like, just songs from the temples. And if you play those, I'm pretty sure it gives you a purple rupee. So that's pretty cool, I guess. Now, I'm not sure if that respawn responds after you reset the three-day cycle or if it responds after you can just exit a place and enter again. I'm not exactly sure, and I'm not going to test it out. It's not worth the time trying to figure it out. Maybe I'll do it sometime in my spare time, but right now it doesn't really matter. Now, these are the Raw Sisters, I'm pretty sure. And what they're trying to do is make up a dance because they're supposed to be... Tr they're supposed to be performing at the carnival. You can actually find them, like, pondering, like, what they should make their dance about. Um, in the hotel. Don't bother us! Yeah, they're really mad. They're really focused. Yeah, the Rosa sisters were added to your notebook. So, it is our job to teach them a new dance move. So, let's get out our Camaro's mask. What we have to do is dance Camaro's dance in front of them. So, let's put it on. Don't bother us! Shut up. No one cares what you have to say. Let's put it on and dance. Okay, I think it's be closer. I'm not sure what's going wrong here. Let's try it again. Oh, okay, now that's what's supposed to happen. I like how the mask completely covers Link's face. That looks so ridiculous. Now they're intrigued. Now they're interested. Now they're copying us. Man, Link's representing gay pride now, isn't he? Go, Link! Woo, it's your birthday! My guard is watching us. I think he's getting turned on. Oh, yeah. Look at this dancers. I mean, Link has some balls to dance like that in public. Now they're begging on their knees. Wow, Link. You got the girls begging on your knees now. You are our master. 
That's probably the most sexual, like, reference ever made in Zelda history. But we got a piece of shark. So, you stole the hearts of the dancers. Oh. Clap, clap, clap. I'm being so modest. Master, you're so cool. Like, totally cool. Your totes cool. Like, yeah. And I'm pretty sure if you take off your mask and talk to them, they're like, get all pissed off again. But now they're doing our dance, which is pretty cool. Master, please come to our performance. Let's take off our mask and talk to them. Don't bother us! Yeah, you bitches. Oh my god, I hate you. You're dying away. Let's just slice open your guts. Like, I accidentally did to that baby bunny. It's so sad. Now I'm gonna deposit my 200 rupees real fast. Okay, now we have 644 rupees. Yeah, it's gonna take forever to get to 5,000. Oh, I didn't mention that. Um, To get one heart piece in this game, you have to deposit 5,000 rupees into the bank. And what I'm gonna do for that is I'm just gonna do that all off screen. And then once I finally reach 5,000, then I'm going to show myself inserting the last 100 rupees or so. But that is it for this episode, guys. And in the next episode, I think we're going to get a couple more masks. Yeah, there's two more masks I have in mind for the next episode, so we're going to get those. And I'm trying to get some stuff saved up for Great Bay and such. So, I will see you guys next episode. See ya!